All right, guys, it's Friday, and so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. And we've got another week of no Paul Saladino. Ah, <sighs> makes me happy. But we do have back on the show Gary Brecca. Let's see what he has to say. There was a time when we used to think that putting athletes in cold water after exercise was good because of its anti-inflammatory effects. We know now that that's only about 15% of the benefit. The majority of the benefit comes from something called a cold shock protein. If you really want to be fascinated, Gotta Google the cold shock proteins. The These are reserve proteins that are in your liver. They're dumped into the bloodstream in an effort to save your life when you put yourself in cold water. They scour the body of free radical oxidation. Oh. They increase the rate of protein synthesis, muscle repair. They are free. You get them when you That's put true, yourself Gary. in cold water. That's you get a peripheral vasoconstriction, so it forces all the oxygen into the core and up to the brain. Um, and you, ask, you get an activation of something called brown fat. Right, um, thermogenesis. That's comes great from if you're a rat. Fat. And Humans for the don't women really that are that listening, for some reason I seem to ensnare the women when I say this. Remember that the definition of a calorie is a measure of heat, right? I mean, the definition of a calorie is the amount of energy it takes to raise one cubic centimeter of water, one degree centigrade. I thought calories so if, didn't if, matter, Gary. If a calorie is a measure of heat, then this means that when heat's leaving your body, calories are leaving your body. So if there is nothing, nothing, no amount of exercise hits cardio, no type of cardiovascular or weight training that comes anywhere close to immersing yourself in cold oh water God. in terms of what will strip fat off your body fast. If you want to strip fat off your body. Don't exercise, just get in cold water. So isn't it convenient that calories all of a sudden matter when it comes to cold water immersion? Gary, you're mixing things up. It is heat shock proteins that can increase muscle protein synthesis. Cold water immersion has actually been shown to attenuate muscle protein synthesis and impair the anabolic response to exercise and attenuate the development of skeletal muscle in response to resistance training. So eh, on that, I know you just heard shock protein and were like, oh cool, cold shock protein. Must do the same thing as heat shock protein. Ah, uh, nope. If only you had read the human randomized control trials, you would know this. But you're, aren't you like a human biologist or whatever the f that means? Do you not read studies? Spoiler alert, you don't. So I actually covered a study on this show about cold water immersion and fat loss, which basically showed that it didn't do sh This idea that you're activating brown fat. That's great if you're a rodent and you have large pads of brown fat. Human beings, however, don't really have that much brown fat and it doesn't seem to make a big difference when they activate it. So who freaking cares? Now, if you like cold water immersion, great. I will tell you this. Why don't you eat your normal amount of calories, get in cold water for five minutes a day, and let me see if it strips fat off your body. I promise you it's going to do all. Maybe you burn a few extra calories. Now, I will say, if you're cold for long periods of time, your body does increase its production of thyroid hormone. That's if you're near hypothermia. So yes, if you would like to get close to death, then yes, you can increase your metabolic rate and strip away fat. My God, are people really this avoidant to just doing some hard work that they'll be like, well, would rather almost kill myself than actually go to the gym for 45 minutes. Like the amount of mental gymnastics that are happening to avoid work. Let me give you some advice, kitties. The magic you're looking for is in the work that you keep trying to avoid. Imagine if you took all the mental energy that you're spending on trying to find hacks and this theory and just went to the gym for 30 or 40 minutes and did that consistently. You'd be shocked at what you can do. But instead, you're trying to fast for 16 hours while sitting in an ice bath for four and a half minutes a day and then a sauna for three and a half minutes and then making sure that your meal timing is appropriately timed and getting in your NMR supplements or whatever it is. Just go to the gym. I can't deal with this.